Good morning, dear followers. Hope you're doing fine. Welcome to this new video. Uh, before I start the video, I'd like to uh, tell the teachers who are in charge of third year, please don't rush. Uh, your pupils need uh, to review all what they haven't tackled in the last year. The basic notions, the structures, grammar, uh, personal pronouns, uh, verb to be, verb to have, present simple, all these are important. Before you tackle the program, make sure your pupils are um, ready. And uh, you have uh, the third year program is very light and there are many lessons which have been removed. So please don't rush because you have time. So today I'm going to present the second lesson of third year program, which is can and can't the model verbs expressing abilities and inabilities. Alors, uh, the framework uh, which uh, should be applied in a grammar lesson is different from a listening lesson. Alors, la grammaire, ma gandanash pre ou wine ou post, gandana uh, PPU, yani presentation practice use. C'est trop trop simple. Presentation, vous présentez euh, les exemples tacom ou vous identifiez les verbes ou le sujet, etc. Ou faites un affirmative ou négatif et tout. On va de practice et dire au thémarine. On va de use et stimule ou je t'aime ou fait euh, hiwar ou la fait euh, paragraphe ou la essentiel de creativity. C'est tout. So we start with the warm up, which should take five minutes, maybe less, but not more. So, the teacher greets her pupils. I personally ask them to perform some body movements and believe me, it's very, very useful. So here, the aim is to relax the atmosphere and to break the ice. Then I move to preparation. Alors, vous avez peut-être remarqué, believe my uh, sequence map, and there toujours flag grammaire, uh, P, 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 U, donc the three P's. Alors, the first P stands for preparation. Alors, before the presentation, I want to prepare my pupils for the target item. What I did, I showed them a picture uh, where uh, they could see a list of abilities, as you may see. Fly, cook, sing, dance, swim, surf, skate, and roller skate. So all these are abilities. And then I asked them questions. What is the aim behind asking them questions? Is to elicit. What is elicit? It means to get the ideas and to get sentences from my pupils in order to write them on the board as examples. So, I ask questions, as you may see in the lesson plan. What can you see? What can you do? Can you sing? Etc. So, uh, here just a remark. The examples that you write on the board should suit you. It should be a mixture of, of the forms in your examples. means affirmative, negative, interrogative, so that they can present your lesson. Here, I'm still in preparation when I ask questions. Then, I move to presentation. So the phase of presentation is the phase where I have to write the examples on the board. So I write clearly, please, you have to write clearly with colors. I can sing, he can dance, can you skate, yes I can, no I can't. How do les examples Then, uh, in the phase of presentation, and now isolation analysis, which means Je vais diviser mes, mes phrases. Uh, which of these sentences are affirmative? Which are negative? Why? Which are interrogative? What is can? Is it a verb? Is it a modal verb? Uh, what is the subject? Uh, what about skate and dance? Are they verbs? Uh, what are they? So here I interact with my pupils. I elicit from them and, uh, and I push them to deduce the rule by themselves. Here I isolate things and I make people analyze them. So, can separately, sing separately, I separately, so that they can identify the different components of a sentence and understand clearly. After that, I move to practice. So, uh, the presentation phase takes 15 minutes, and then I move to practice, which takes 10 minutes. Here, uh, since uh, the session uh, takes 45 minutes, I advise you to use handouts. That's why here I wrote handouts. So here it's optional, you can use the board. But if you see that you're slow or your pupils are slow, just use handouts, it's much better to gain time. Because I know that a grammar lesson uh, like this or like any other lesson won't take 45 minutes. That it is not enough, so just use handouts. Uh, 
So here for practice, alors hnaya nhabes bash nfahamkom bli l'tamarinat ta la grammaire lazim ykunu the first activity should be structured or form based. Ma'antha la première activité we tackle the structure. Yani we make sure that our pupils have got the structure of can and can't. Yani we need can, we need can't, we need the subject, kit kunt kastio min la can, etc. Donc l'ordre et la structure c'est très important pour la première. Activité. La deuxième activité, par contre, les hommes ils connaissent les choses. Les élèves les connaissent les choses pour l'activité. La troisième activité, qui est communicative based, les élèves ils utilisent les choses de leur créativité pour faire l'activité. Les hommes ils utilisent les vocabulaire de leur vocabulaire pour qu'ils puissent la règle. And then I'm going to move to the rule. I'm going to tell you a lot about it. So activity one, reorder the following words to get coherent sentences. Activity two, match the house. As you may see here in this activity, they should understand um, terrible and people say my meals are tasty. So I haven't uh, like uh, given them a simple uh, short answers. Here the meaning is really uh, necessary. Uh, and I give you time to see uh, the aim of each activity. Then you have activity three, answering the questions. So here it's communicative based activity where uh, the pupils are going to um, communicate and use their creativity to answer these questions depending on uh, each, uh, each situation. It means it's not um, like a common answer. Each pupil is going to answer uh, the way uh, that suits him. So to check the creativity and understanding and structure. So here uh, they have to understand to do this activity. They have to get the structure in order to answer uh, accurately and correctly. And they have to add some words. So here creativity. Then I have a task here. Uh, and this is optional, but I think that, um, I mean, most teachers have told me that uh, the pupils uh, don't have to uh, write the rule or uh, even if it's like an activity, uh, it should not be presented. I think that uh, the rule is very, very important. Alors, on est à un peu plus la règle, je sais que la competency based approach, les élèves ne peuvent pas la règle. وما لازمش يكتبوا لا ريغل ولازم يديروا صدير من التمارينات يفهموا لا ريغل وحدهم انا جو بونس كو لو نيفو تاع مي زيلاف وتاع نو زيلاف اون جينيرال ما يسمحناش باش نديروا لهم برك تمارينات بلا ما نديروا لهم لا ريغل يعني سي فري كو عندنا ان ابروتش تو ابلاي بصح يفو با لابليكي ا 100% بارفوا ات شو بي فليكسيبل ديبندين اون ذا ليفل اوف اور بيوبلز Personnellement, mes élèves, le quand mes chauffeurs la règle clairement, mais qu'ils doivent être prêts. Je suis d'accord, mais ils doivent la règle au début, parce qu'ils disent que c'est classique. Donc, ils doivent la règle au début, ils vont juste appliquer les tamarinettes. Non, mais dès le moment tamarinettes, ils apprennent la règle, c'est-à-dire au bout d'un moment ils ont la règle, mais I state the rule. Mais mes élèves, je dis directement. Personally, I do it as a task. Alors, parce que les élèves t'as comme qui vont réviser. Believe me, when they revise in each grammar lesson, they look for the rule. Or how do you act? Why you focus on the rule? Why you focus on the tamarinat? Who shows for the rule? It's the tamarin. So here I presented the rule as a task. Complete the rule. So here uh, it may take just three or two minutes. Uh, it should be presented in a handout. هادي صح لازم ديروها في بوليكوب هكذا pour ne pas perdre du temps. بس ما تخلهم شيء كتبوها كامل في كاي إيه تو. Donc juste مدلهم. بوليكوب هكذا نص ورقة فيها the rule إلى سقوة. After dealing with the rule, we move to use here or produce here. The pupils are going to use their creativity, their background, their prior knowledge, and their um, understanding of the structures and of the meaning, so that they can perform an output. The activity of use should be contextualized. Your partner wants to know about your abilities. Write a short paragraph or sentences telling him what you can and can't do. Alors, هنا علش درت paragraph or sentences. بس كين ديزلا في عارف يكتبوا paragraph يعرفوا كيفاش يبدأوا. وكين ديزلا يعرف يكتبوا just des phrases simples. 
Donc, j'ai laissé le choix pour les élèves qui voulaient soit une phrase, soit euh, un paragraphe, mais les mots qu'on fait le contexte. And then we have class correction. Nous faisons comme bord que les élèves l'activité les déroulent. Chaque activité est mise dans un temps précis ou est-ce que c'est un pair work ou un groupe work ou un individual work. I hope it was useful. Uh, we meet inshallah in another video. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye.